to Love in Life. This is my beautiful wife and my beautiful wife. And let's eat. Yeah. Yep. Today we are going to Philippines. Yay! We miss it so much. Yay! And this is the more controversial food of the Philippines. So hi to all our Filipino friends. So yeah, this is Dinaguan. Ooh. Ooh. We yeah. love that stuff. And and those are churun, churun, churun. Basically, there are spring rolls with uh, bananas and uh, jackfruit, natural jackfruits. We never tried it, and uh, yeah, we will start with them. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's good. Mm-hmm. must be fried, fried bananas and um, and then it's not overly sweet. Now, and you actually can see the jackfruits. I'm not sure if you can, would be probably you won't be able to see, but you can actually see the pieces of jackfruits inside. Mm. Mm. Mm hmm. This is good. And actually, it's made in Cebu. I went to local Walmart, went to the freezer, frozen sec section, and I saw all the Filipino food. And I saw this, and I was super excited. Decided to check where it's da uh, where, where where it's made, and I was made in Cebu City. So I was we've been there, yeah, for a week, around the week. We've been there for around the week, around the Christmas time, and it was pretty fun. Love well, it. We've been on Cebu Island, and we've been in Cebu City. Mm -hmm. Love that island. Best mm. lechon ever in Cebu. It's true. Like best. You can't beat. And everywhere you have lechon. Lechon is pork with crispy skin. Whole pork. Everywhere you have lechon, you have dinoguan. So it comes together. And you had lechon is definitely better in Cebu. Because it's originated from Cebu. There you go. Yeah. And yeah, and the rice is garlic rice. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm. I'm never going to change. She eats with a spoon. I eat with I'm a fork. like native Filipino. Filipina, I'm not. But <laughs> I love to eat okay. with fork and spoon. That's how the people the, eat in Philippines. So basically what you do, you put this one, right? Then you come here and use the fork like you use knife maybe mm. by the way it's Very a good. it's a homemade you forgot to tell that it's homemade it is homemade yeah we story got into extreme filipino food cooking <laughs> didn't want mm -hmm. didn't know. actually yeah i went to the shop and i saw the dungo dungo i hope i'm pronouncing it right it's a blood, basically pork blood frozen. So I bought it and I made this one. Mm. Excuse me, I'm gonna eat with my fork. Mm. It's fine. But I think this way is tastier. Okay. <laughs> it's like something you need to, to eat with the chopsticks. You theoretically can eat it with a fork, but it's not as tasty. It's been a while since we've been to the Philippines. Yeah. yeah. Here. In. And a bit. That's it? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. And it feels these days like it's been, I don't know, for millennia. Forever. Literally. Feels forever. Mm -hmm. On some level, it feels like the days fly, but mm -hmm. it also feels like the time just stands still. Good film. Literally now, we were talking about mm -hmm. because we finished to watch um, oh. Good Place. Yeah. We just finished the, the, the run of the good place. Oh my God. And we've decided we're in a bad place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> There's no doubt. 
Mm-hmm. Actually, very funny. We actually enjoyed the show. Mm-hmm. Oh, Philippines. Oh, yeah. It's been forever. Mm. You should do your way. The garlic rice. For breakfast. Do I miss it? <laughs> okay. I don't know if I actually miss the garlic rice for breakfast, but I miss the warm tropical weather, the beautiful beaches. seas, beaches, my turtles. When I could wake up whatever time, even at 6 a.m., and I could grab my snorkel and I just hop into the water and I, before, you know, all the tourists come. Yeah, yeah. that's what we did because yeah. we're stayed in the place. Don't love the tourists. <laughs> because they, some of them don't know how to behave with, you know, sea life with turtles and it just makes me crazy. Can stand those people who try to touch the poor turtle, yeah. ride on those poor turtles and whatever. I just, I just can't take it. Well, so I make sure I go where there are no many people. We were privileged. And actually, mm -hmm. what we did, we told the ranger, like they have, I'm not sure if they call rangers, how they call. Do you remember? Who? Where? The guys in the oh, guides, guides. 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 They call the guides, not rangers, sorry. So we told them a lot of times, like, stop doing it, like, tell them not to do that. Yeah, and on Cebu Island as well. Mm -hmm. We're kind of mean this way. Yeah, I seriously don't like, like some people are just literally don't know. Mm -hmm. But I feel like uh, some people just exploit the animals because they're in the Philippines. And, and I think, yeah, it needs to be like, we need to speak for the animals and make sure people learn. These people well, need to know. If we are lucky enough and, you know, privileged enough to be there, mm -hmm. so at least to tell them. I know. And most people are good, honestly, but you know, some, no. some just kind of... Mm. I can talk about 95% of the people are listening to the guides and doing whatever like you're supposed to do. It's not that it's everyone, it's just always there is one or two of those who don't really care. What a beautiful water. And then you take some, um, you know, you drink coconut, water right from the coconut. Warm. Yeah. Yeah, in <laughs> Philippines it was warm, it's true. Funny. Why is she saying that? Because when we travel through Vietnam, they literally have fridges <clears throat> and they keep the coconuts uh, cold. Cold and then they open them for you, and give you, you know, straw and you can drink it. In the Philippines everything was warm. Yeah. But, but mind you, a lot of them don't really have electricity. electricity like Up Island, for example, don't, doesn't have electricity all the time, yeah. so it's kind of a problem. No, but it's fine. Like, but it's just in generally. In the general. We went everywhere in Vietnam and it's one of the selling point. Every, you know, stop that we made by buses, because we did buses and whatnot. Everywhere it's cold. Everywhere it's in the refrigerator and everywhere it was 30,000 one. Yeah, I think. Something like that, if I remember the price correctly. But it was everywhere. Here, it's everywhere. The coconuts are everywhere. But um, somehow they don't sell. You need actually ask people who live there if you can buy the, from them, right? It's not easily available, even though it's just literally everywhere. It's true. Look, it's fun. People are super happy to sell you coconuts. So ask coconuts. It's not that it's not. I'm just saying it's never. It's usually not on display. Anywhere. I'm telling them you bring coconuts, and if you make them cold, tourists will buy them. Everywhere we go, we said, you know what? You have a lot of tourists here. 
if you can make it, them cold by any chance, you can upscale and people will just buy them. Yeah, Philippines. Yeah, awesome. So good. We'll miss and it. I love when the water at 6 a.m. is warm and the outside is warm and you don't ever freeze. You know, I'm really picky with my water. She is. She is. I I'm think picky. the lake is too cold. Even the... Oh, the lake is cold, the river... Oh, 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 my shoe. My feet are freezing. Oh, oh, oh. Everything is too cold for her. Seriously. Except the Philippines. It was phenomenal. It was 6 a.m. when we stayed in Palawan. It was on uh, this boat for four nights, right? Five days, four nights. It was something like this. 6 a.m. I woke up and I, I was the first in the water. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. The good old days when we could travel. Mmm. I really love it. Oh, it's really good, right? Ariel <laughs> ate it with Thai chili sauce. You said that it's amazing together. Oh. Who knew? So good. Mm. Very good. And, the, the, and those bananas have different flavor. How do you know I was going to say Filipino bananas? Mm. With them too. Those little. No, but Vietnam and Philippines have absolutely different I know. And they're both, kinds. And they're, but they're still good in both of them. This is more like plantain, I'm guessing. Type of one, like stubby, small stubby, and quite fat. And sweet. And very sweet. And very delicious. And it's fragrant. It's. Yeah. And um, jackfruit is my personal favorite. And the fruits in Philippines, <laughs> those mangoes, mm. pomelas, bananas, don't go there. papayas. Mm -hmm. mm. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Love them so very much. We haven't eaten bananas for so long. Mm -hmm. Like we couldn't even look at them in here because the flavor is just completely different, completely different thing. Mm -hmm. mm. I think only recently you bought them, I and it's been literally a very long time since we eaten a banana. Yeah, I... true. True. You can get good mangoes. Pomelos. Sometimes. Yeah. Hit and miss. Mm -hmm. mm. But those bananas... Yeah. I don't want anymore. Really? Mm -hmm. But it's good. It's just so good. It's good, it's good. Yeah. When I came from Philippines and I went to local Walmart, literally Walmart, not something special. I saw milk fish. I saw everything Filipino related. Like this is this is something new, I never see it. I'm not sure how long it was here. But different, 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 like spring glow, uh, spring, spring rolls, rolls. like meat spring rolls. Um, we had there, uh, like everything, like tacinos, like uh, breakfast meats, um, really, 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 really everything. So basically, I love to live here. I can get everything. We can. And it's funny because before I, we traveled, I bet we had some things, but I never paid attention to this because I didn't know what it is. After and we traveled and explored those places, now it's exotic. Mm -hmm. Now it brings memories. So yeah, very, very, very tasty. Fuzzy warm memories. Yeah. Love to be in Philippines now. Huh. Okay. By the way, uh -huh. I know we're all here, all smitten and etc. But how are you guys in the Philippines? 
and uh, how well what's going on there we have no idea there's no news there is no really you right. hear some things from the Filipinos that work but with me but yeah but still like hi everyone we love you so much it's actually interesting with all the social media with everything the people connected from all, all over the world it's really uh -huh. hard to get actually accurate information what exactly is going on there for sure if you don't know someone who, who like inside and I don't know so yeah Thank you so very much for being with us. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Filipinas. Thank you, honey. You're welcome, buddy. Thank you for so many memories of so many, you know, wonderful, wonderful things that we lived there. Hope we will be back one day, one day, in some point in future time. Cheese, please, please. Cheese. And yeah, thank you so much. And please subscribe, write us a comment, thumbs up us, and cheers, love and life. And remember, go to a DJ and. Try to do something fun every day. Yeah, try. Even if it's hard, just try. try. Just something tiny, small, step little. by step. Step by step. Even go outside and just. If you have, if, if you, you have, have a if you can, yeah. Outside. And look at if, the blue sky if it's blue. Yeah. Even if it's raining, <laughs> it's nice to. <laughs> Seriously, it's almost enjoyable now to get um, go in the rain, almost. No, but it, when it's like overcast, it's wonderful. Okay? Yeah, I mean, it's almost nice to be, you know, it tells you that you're alive. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, see you next anyway, time. Not to be dramatic. Bye. Bye. <laughs>